Eli, what would you like to ask me? One of my favorite stories that you tell is when you're standing outside on the curb with all of your belongings and nowhere to live, and a family took you in and gave you three rules. What were the three rules that they gave you? One of the biggest rules is to go to church because church is a place where you can fellowship, you can feel the spirit. Another one was um, turning in my phone at night. It eliminated those distractions, right, with social media and all those things that we deal with these days. I look back and I say, well, I didn't have those distractions. Those were the times where I could really dig into the scriptures. I could really find out what my testimony was. Another one was paying my tithing. I think that's been a huge blessing in my life to this day. So what are the type of like day-to-day things that you started doing or implementing into your life that actually brought out your trust into the Lord? Um, I really think it started where um, when I was at home, when I would put, turn in my phone at night and I would really just have a couple hours before I go to sleep of really focusing on um, reading my scriptures. Um, during that time, I'd meet with my bishop one-on-one. You know, a bishop is not somewhere that we should feel afraid to go talk about our problems. Um, he's going to give you things to push you because that's what the Lord wants you to do. And I remember going in there and I've told him everything that I've done in my life, um, all the bad things, all the good things I've done, um, all the things that, you know, I wasn't proud of doing, but I knew I needed to do that so that I can have a clean slate with the Lord. And I remember looking to the left and it was, um, Jesus Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane. And, uh, sorry. And I remember that spirit hit me like it is right now of how much he does love and care for us and how much he felt all the pain and suffering that we've ever done. Anything that we felt that we've hurt, he's hurt. Anything that we felt sorrow, he felt sorrow. Like that moment when he did that, he did it because he loved us. And I knew if he's going to love me, I need to love him. Not just one foot in and one foot out like I've lived my life for so long or one foot off the edge and one foot on the edge. I have to truly love him. And when I did that is when I knew I needed to serve a mission. And anytime I struggle or anytime I'm going through something, I always reflect back on that picture because that's what the Lord wants us to know, that he does love us. How about you guys? What are three things that that reflect in your life to trust the Lord? I feel like the three things that have made me who I am today is church, family and sports yeah i'm very similar on those things it's church family and sports i'm a recent convert so coming to the church has saved my life that's so cool it's so neat that us three share so many similar things and i think it's because of what we found through the church and what we found through our testimonies of being a member of this church because being a member of this church is a special thing but one thing i want to tell you all is if you learn to trust in the lord and you learn to keep his commandments He's going to put you guys in places that you never thought before. And that's what he's done to me. And like, I remember there's multiple times where my teammates were sick and I got to bless them and I got to talk to them about my church and everyone knows I don't drink or smoke. And before they used to bug me about it, but now they don't because I know I've trusted in the Lord and I've stuck out for what is right. And I know when I do that, he's going to bless me and he's going to prosper me and put me in places where I never thought I would ever be. And I know if you guys do that, you're going to feel the same love that I feel for the Savior.